Going down the escalator. Is this fun? <laughs> Another day means another breakfast. Yeah, it's hot, it's hot. Hell yum. Stop blowing it because it's hot. Is it hot? Hot. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's too hot. That's why you guys gotta blow on it, okay? Hot. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, if you use your fork and you can put it in your mouth with your fork, then it'll be okay in your mouth, but with your fingers, it's hot. Now that the air quality has improved um, significantly, we're enjoying playing outside in our yard again. It's been so nice because I felt so bad having them all cooped up um, inside, so it's a good change. He's loving it. Thriving succulents here. This one has grown a lot. I actually propagated this one and transferred um, some of them to um, one right here. And this one has been growing quite nicely, and then also planted it here. It's looking really nice. It's probably my favorite one of the bunch. This one was dying and was maybe like just the size of this thing right here, but I decided to uh, replant it into, I don't know what you call it, like this crate. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's still small, but it's growing. This one always reminds me of green beans. I don't know what any of these succulents are called, but it's a little small collection here. Hey buddy, should we go to Chinatown? Do you want to go to Chinatown? I've never been to Chinatown. Oh, Christmas Yoda. Christmas Yoda. Oh, you're gonna keep some tea. Oh, give some oh, to okay. Christmas Yoda. Oh, oh, you're teasing Christmas Yoda, huh? You tease? You tease? Mm -hmm. uh, oh. A vroom vroom vroom! They're backwards. They're backwards. There you go, there you go. There you no. go. Go! Dude, this boy took a three hour nap. He is refreshed, as Caroline says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got some, some seaweed on your cheek. It makes you look like you have like a mole, like a cartoon character. Yeah? <laughs> look at this watermelon! Look. It's a 
Good job. But it's also watermelon. Oh, it's really not watermelon. So we had a change of plans. The uh, the restaurant in Chinatown that we're thinking about going to, um, they stopped serving the types of dishes that Caroline was really craving called dim sum. They stopped serving them at 3 p.m. So we are going to go to a far more expensive dim sum place in uh, kind of a nicer part of LA, uh, but that's okay. Um, you know, frankly, the, the cheapest uh, dim sum and Chinese food in the LA area is actually the San Gabriel Valley. It's not even Chinatown in the first place. So, um, but yeah, we're going to this place called Bao. We've been there before. I, when I used to work for an accounting firm, I had a client in this area and uh, we've been there a couple times. So, we are familiar with this place. We know it's good. Um, it's just on the pricey side. And this will be Hunter's first time um, eating uh, dim sum and really Chinese food other than probably Panda Express, right? So. Yeah. Um, that's exciting. To get to this place, we gotta go by the Hollywood Bowl. And uh, we're obviously bummed that, that place is bummed out because we had a lot of good times there. Um, we saw Neil Diamond there. If you didn't know, Caroline's actually named for Sweet Caroline, the Neil Diamond song. So we saw Neil Diamond there. What else did we see there? We saw Sarah Bareilles sing oh, yeah. Little Mermaid. Yeah, we went to Little Mermaid. We like, saw tribute. like a Star Wars where they played Empire Strikes Back and the, the orchestra was there. Was I John Williams you? conducting? No, he wasn't. But I have been to one where John Williams was actually kind of conducting a Star Wars know. orchestra. Yeah, I think I went with my dad. Um, we went to a Korean music festival. A Korean music festival there, yeah, when we were, still, when we were just dating. So, yeah, lots of good times there. Sad that, uh, sad that that's closed. It's so empty. So sad. Yeah, usually, I mean, it's, it's uh, there would be uh, you know people and lining up for whatever tonight's event is, but no go. So, yeah, this thing is usually like crowded and packed, but not today. Not today. Not for a while. So, goodbye, Hollywood Bowl. Do you hear that, Hunter? Here is the Magic Castle, and we had a lot of great times here. I've probably been here like like five, six times. It's like the premier magician's establishment in LA. Yeah, very exclusive place. Great magicians. If you've seen the, the video of Johnny Ace Palmer on our channel, um, that performed at Caroline's Christmas party a few years back, he's like the regular there. Um, just a great magic show. So much fun there. Oh, all these places. I miss it so much. <laughs> What's up, man? You hungry? You got some good food. You got some good food. This is a famous hot dog place. I've never been. Have you had it? I had a, I lived in Orange County at the time, and I had a roommate. His name was Alex. He drove all the way from Orange County. No, I just Yeah, it. probably. Well, it was the middle of the night, though. It was like late at night. So no traffic. Probably got here in maybe like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Um, but yeah, that's what he did. I've never tried it. All right. Here we are. Ready right for some dim sum. It says we are open. So you're going to love the food. It's going to be so yummy. It's going to be so yummy. It's going to knock these puffs out of the water. Pass. Yeah. And puffs are pretty great. And puffs are pretty great. I mean, what is this? Shrimp. Shrimp. Here we go. Uh, so it's hot. This is hot. Hot. Oh. See, it's hot. Sir. Okay, here you go. Here. And then it's hot though. It's hot. This is a small bite, okay? Thank you. It's kind of. That's gonna blow on it. See? Maybe 
bok choy and the radish cake. Yeah. Is this normal radish cake or is it radish cake just like ham? With the ham, yeah. With the ham. Clean, clean, clean. Can you try to get rid of We're this? We're all done. We're all done. to go to Koreatown, which is just east of here, three miles east or so, three, four miles east, and uh, hit up a Korean grocery store. I kind of like to do some Korean grocery shopping yet, because we do not have a Korean market of substance near where we live. Um, close to one for half an hour away, right? So that's what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna walk around and get some dessert in Koreatown. So, round two. The service here, what is it called? Bao House? Bao Dim Sum House. It's exceptional. Like, Very good. They kept refilling our water. Um, I mean, because Hunter is a baby and just extra messy, um, they just kept cleaning things up and sweeping things up for us. And um, I mean, and they were so sweet to Hunter. I think that made me really happy. Just how they love kids. Yep, very nice. <laughs> Yep. Like you, children like you. Two. 
One, two. <laughs> Yay! One, two. Yeah. Yeah, there's people down there. Yeah. Yes. What? Yes. We're gonna go get dessert over here. Mommy's ordering dessert, okay? She's right over here. Right over here. This is where we're going. This is where we're going, okay? Mommy. See what we can get in here. Yeah. Bang a drum. Bang a drum. Bang a drum. <laughs> so this is uh how would you describe this Caroline? Uh it's just like a kind of a grain. Grainy, okay. a grainy like powdered grain. Yeah, I like it. Okay. And here's a like... mango. Usually if it wasn't uh COVID, you know, these would come in these big like bowls, so you know, this is kind of to go way of doing things, it's not the most aesthetic, but it's still tasty. Um. <laughs> it's so good, huh? My stuff? It's good, huh? It's called mango. Mango. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna get yours. Since we're checking out the sesame oil. So this is the drink we had at the uh, the place. Oh, and uh, we want to make it at home. So hear the music. Yeah, you're feeling it. You're feeling it. You're feeling that music. All right, so we uh, we finished our shopping trip at the store. Got a ton of groceries. <laughs> Probably like one of our larger shopping trips recently. Caroline went a little crazy with the with the Korean groceries. And now we are headed back home. We're debating whether or not to give Hunter a bath because he's kind of touching the floor and like touching a bunch of stuff at the store. So we're probably gonna give him a bath tonight, even though he got a bath last night. We usually give him a bath every every two nights, but uh, that's what's going on now. So I don't know if you can see kind of right back there uh, is the Hollywood sign. Misconception is that it's lit up at night. It's actually not. <laughs> it hasn't been lit up in like almost 100 years. Oh, it used to be. I think it used to be lit up or something like that. Maybe not that far back. I think when when they first bust when they first like made the Hollywood sign, I think like it was lit with like 4,000 lights or something like that. But holy wow. Yeah, it's not lit anymore. So can't even really see it. I thought it would be funny to sit in the box. You're in the toy box? Bunk? Yeah. You have fun with the pool? Christmas Yoda. the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The bus? I know. The wheels on the bus go round and round. And round. 
fun little building arts. Just a little more lively here. Yeah. Yeah, lots of cars in the parking structure. Hi. <laughs> Look at the cow. How those moves.